When you scan a website, you get to know information about the website like the open ports, services running, and even potential vulnerabilities, but the website also knows about you, your IP, your location, and even your ISP information gets exposed. Every request that you send leaves a digital footprint. That's why we are going to be learning how to use proxy chains. Before learning what is proxy chains, first let's understand what proxies are. A proxy server acts as a middleman between you and the website. Instead of your request going directly to the target, it first passes through a proxy, which forwards your request on your behalf. That means, if the website flags your scan, the IP address they see isn't yours, it's the proxy's. But here's the catch. If authorities investigate, they can contact the proxy provider, check their logs, and trace the request back to you. That's where proxy chains come in. Instead of just using one proxy, proxy chains route your traffic through multiple proxies in a chain, making tracking almost impossible. And for more anonymity, we can use proxy chains with Tor to add an extra layer of privacy. So let's learn how to set up proxy chains on our Kali Linux. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I will first open the terminal and type the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash proxy chains 4 dot conf this is the proxy chain configuration file when the file opens up uncomment dynamic chain and comment out strict chain dynamic chain is better than strict chain because the traffic will be routed dynamically and it will skip the dead proxies on its own scroll down and make sure proxy dns is uncommented and then scroll to the bottom of the page and now we're going to add our proxy I can see SOX4 is already selected. I'm going to type SOX5, which is a better version than SOX4. Press the tab bar and type the loopback address, which is 127.0.0.1, and the port, which is 9050. Save the file with Ctrl plus O in your keyboard and press Enter, and quit the file with Ctrl plus X. Now our configuration has been completed. I will start tor with the command sudo systemctl start tor. After tor starts, I will check the status of the service with the command sudo systemctl status tor and I can see tor is now active and running. Now let's confirm whether our IP and location is changed or not. But before we do that, if you want to get comfortable with the Kali Linux terminal commands, then click the first link in the description box and you will get the full Kali Linux cheat sheet for completely free. This cheat sheet includes all the essential commands for your day-to-day -day task. So if you get stuck, you do not have to google every time. So click on the first link in the description box to get this cheat sheet. Now to start using proxy chains, type proxy chains and the name of the application. I will first type Firefox and if I go to the site dnsleaktest.com, I can see my IP and location has changed and proxy chain is dynamically routing the traffic through the Tor network. Now let's use it with nmap. So type the command proxy chains, the name of the application which is nmap and the website or the server IP that you want to check and your real IP and location will not be exposed. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kelly Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.